Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 Thus says the Lord, by the Spirit of Truth, Obey the Commandments. March 22nd, 2008 From God the Father, and Yahushua, Cha Mashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Regarding those who say the Holy Spirit would never tell you to obey the moral law, the Ten Commandments. Timothy, concerning these perverse disputings which plague your mind, why do you let it be so? Yet I shall speak for the sake of my elect, the tame and the untamed, the humble and the unrefined, of which both shall enter into my rest at the last day. This sin is grievous, and should not be spoken of, nor uttered in such a manner. Yet they have proclaimed it, even with complete ignorance of the truth. Yes, they testify, even of their own guilt, failing to see the folly of their ways. Thus says the Lord to these void churches, to all these lawless people, You shall not! Blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I do not know you. Shall anyone who proclaims my name and the free gift then go and pervert it before many witnesses as a show, proclaiming their own righteousness before men? I am the Lord. I am the Lord, your righteousness. How is it then you come before me? even taking to yourselves my name, saying, The Lord dwells within us, and by the power of his Spirit we walk in his ways. You have surely testified falsely. You have turned aside after Satan, and blasphemed my holy name, even on the highest order. For you stand firm for that which I abhor, asserting that the Spirit of the Most Holy would never say to obey the moral law of the Father, which is holy, just, and good. Yet you continue in your perverse speech, speaking against that which is fulfilled and upheld in myself, against that which I have magnified in myself, polluting the holy in that part of myself which I have shared with my beloved, desecrating that which I have written upon their hearts even in their innermost parts, which all shall live by. Blasphemy, desecration, great folly. You have perverted grace, making the author of life into the author of sin. Foolish children, corrupt vessels. Shall the Father of Light send down his Holy Spirit, even to a great outpouring on all flesh? only to have it then stand against him? The Lord cannot, nor ever shall, be divided against himself. Therefore, Timothy, and all who have received ears to hear, you already know by which spirit they speak, for it is already named, and is present in the world even now. For it is written, even as I had spoken it through my servant, and was brought forth by the Holy Spirit. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter days some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, of which these spirits are called and named the Spirit of Antichrist. Shall I not give correction? Shall I not discipline? Shall I, even I, Reward any who speak such things. Have they not incited rebellion against the Lord? Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their consciences seared with, as it were, a hot iron? For they in vain seek to honor me with their lips, while at the same time keeping their hearts far from me. For they do dishonor me, even that part of myself which I have poured out of which they have yet to receive. Beloved, who call of yourselves by my own name, receive of me. Know you not, the Holy Spirit 
is of me? Also causing you to remember even all I have taught you? How then can the Spirit speak contrary to me? Return to me, even as a child, and assuredly I say to you, you will enter into my rest, and escape all these things which are coming upon the earth. Forbear, and stand tall with a stretched out neck, and you shall surely be abased. A great humbling in the day of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, This is how you shall know the children of God. They keep the commandments, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. For if one comes and has the testimony, yet seeks not to keep the commandments of God, he is a liar, and has not received. And if one comes saying, Keep the commandments, yet has not the testimony of Jesus Christ, this one also shall be found a liar. They do not know me, nor did I send them, for the Son does not dwell within them, neither do they have any love for God in their hearts. Unprofitable servants, lacking wisdom, abiding not in the love of the Father. Their faith is useless, for the knowledge of God has departed from them, whereby they have come to feast upon all these bitter and perverse doctrines of men in authority, refusing the true bread, even the word of my mouth, by which all men shall live. They shall be taken and cast into darkness. For I tell you the truth, the time shall surely pass, and the door shall be shut, leaving them standing outside, where they shall then look upon all they had built up in their arrogance, considering that upon which they sat in their pride, even every doctrine they had upheld in haughtiness, as it crumbles and burns before their very eyes. Yet the Lord is not without mercy. They shall keep their lives, yet they will escape as one escaping through flames, as it is written. For the refiner's fire shall rage even seven times, and there shall be great wailing and gnashing of teeth. And all who call upon the name of the Lord in that day, even according to the great remnant of which the Lord shall call, shall behold the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Therefore, repent and return to God in truth, and forsake all these corrupt and evil doctrines taught in the churches of men. Go out from among them and prove that you have truly received by new works and pure testimony, becoming a true example of Christ in you, walking as he walked, doing as he did. A lampstand, a beacon of hope, shining in the midst of all this darkness. A renewed and refined people for my name, of my name, in the name of the Son. Thus, as it is written, let it be done, says the Lord.